It has been 17 years since IBM first started doing business in Vietnam back in 1996. IBM Vietnam has found a skilled Vietnamese workforce, reliable local partners and above all, positive changes to the country's business environment. These factors are making the IT giant consider developing further in Vietnam despite the current economic crisis. Positive, uh, both from a investment as well as from the contribution to the, to the market perspective. Uh, it is uh, good that we have been helping uh, industries such as the banks as well as the telcos and leveraging on, on technology. Uh, similarly for, for the government in terms of some of the urbanization work that they are doing as I mentioned. Uh, but there are still a lot more opportunities in terms of how IT can be adopted as well and we will continue to invest and, and work with the enterprises on, on that regard. Winners Vina, a garment and textile company from Republic of Korea, started their factory in Vietnam two years ago. The company mainly exports their products to the U.S. market. In its early days of foundation, the company received a lot of support from the local authorities, which has assured them to run their business in Vietnam. We have started operation here around two years ago. And uh, we have now 3,100 employees here. We are exporting around $40 million annually. Uh, actually, I received uh, support from the authority. Uh, I appreciate uh, their support. I had no problem uh, to make all the documents to work uh, for foundation of this company. It is believed that in 2014, the TPP will be concluded by 12 members involved, including Vietnam. The TPP, therefore, will open more markets for Vietnam while help the country in attracting more FDI. Realizing advantages the TPP may bring about, Vietnam continues consistent FDI policies alongside promoting existing advantages to attract the capital more sustainably. Bộ kế đầu tư cơ quan chủ trì cái này cũng như là các địa phương có sự phối hợp rất chặt và được sự chỉ đạo chặt chẽ của chính phủ mà trực tiếp là thủ tướng chính phủ để lắng nghe và tiếp cận với những tập đoàn lớn, tập đoàn đa ngành những cái những cái những và có những cái sản phẩm phải nói là có sức cạnh tranh không phải chỉ trong thị trường khu vực. And I think what we've seen recently is that there's been less direct investment going into real estate and more into manufacturing, which a lot of people say is a good thing because manufacturing is more stable. And so what government needs to do is look and say, uh, what type of investment do we want? We want investment that's going to create good jobs. We want investment that's going to help train Vietnamese people. We want investment that's not going to hurt the environment. We want an investment that's going to be productive and is going to help our country keep rising up the ladder of economic activity. And I think uh, Vietnam's certainly well on its way. Listening more carefully to FDI enterprises, adopting consistent investment policies from the central to local level, and providing full support are considered essential measures to create an attractive investment environment in a more sustainable way in Vietnam.